All right, welcome back to the garage today. Um, got a couple of cool things that I'm going to do in the yard, but um, one of the things I'm going to do today is start a review of uh, two different mowers that are actually um, really the same mower, but just with a different uh, motor, electric versus gas. So um, I've actually owned both the 22 inch Toro Recycler in the 60 volt electric version and the regular gas version now for about two years. Um, I bought both of these mowers around the same time. I actually got the electric one first and I liked the mower so much that I decided that I had to have the gas one also. Um, I moved to a much bigger property so when I first um, had these mowers they mowed about a 5,000 square foot yard and I did mow that for a whole entire season. Um, then I've done a lot of mowing around my larger property with uh, both of these mowers so um, if you're looking for a review that <clears throat> goes into a lot of the um, technical specs and numbers and things like that then you know this probably isn't a review for you but if you're looking for a review from an actual homeowner that has owned um, both of these mowers for um, over two years now then um, stick around I'm going to show you side by side and I'm going to do a mow of the same exact area this week followed up with a mow of the same exact area next week um, with the counterpart gas mower and we'll kind of see what they look like let's check them out all right, the first contender we got here, here's the Toro um, Flex Force 60 volt. And as you can see in the garage, these things have the same features. Um, both of them have the stow and go. There's the gas version. Um, you can see a lot of the similar features on the mower. Really the main difference is going to be that motor electric versus gas. Um, they both stow up nicely. Um, no difference in how you stow them. I have, um, filled this one up before decided I wasn't going to use it and then stowed it and I would say if you have the tank super full the gas will leak out but overall um, not a big issue I usually just run it and then store it with whatever gas is left after I mow and I've had uh, no issues with storing the gas version versus the electrics handle works exactly the same on both these mowers there is zero difference in, in the setup. Flip both of these little blue levers down here, down. All right, so now we got both of these mowers out. You can see you've got the same exact front bumper, the same steel deck. You've got the same wheels, the same four-point adjustment. You've got the exact same washout port. You've got the same handlebar. Um, there's one difference, so this is your key. Um, I just leave mine in all the time, but if you were... Um, there we go, first time I've ever taken it out. So you need that key to start the electric mower. Um, that is obviously not on the gas. Um, you've got the same exact uh, bagging set up with the uh, cool little lever right here that adjusts from your mulch recycling mode to the bagging with just one flip of that lever. So that is exactly the same. Um, you've got the same exact side uh, optional side discharge. If you fold this up, you can see this mower's been used, but that is exactly the same. Each mower comes with the bagging attachment, which I've got one right over here. Um, you can interchange. I've actually used this bag on both mowers and have a brand new one somewhere over there that I've never even used. Um, they interchange perfectly. Um, you can see the differences start um, when you get over to the gas mower. Um, you've got your um, standard, um, it's Toro branded, but I think it's a, actually a Briggs, yep. Briggs and Stratton engine. Um, it's been a great little motor. Um, it advertises a um, no oil change type of a feature, but I do plan to do an oil change. You're supposed to have to top it off. I am planning to do an oil change um, this season just to get some fresh oil in there. So you'll have to tip the mower um, over on its side and let that oil drain out, then refill it. Um, if you're used to working on a small um, engine, then that's really not a big deal versus the electric. I know some people 
really prefer the electric because they don't want the maintenance. Um, the only maintenance to your electric mower would just be cleaning out under the deck and then sharpening the blade. Um, other than that, you just wait to see how long that battery is going to last um, on your mower. Um, you're going to have to sharpen the blade just the same. Um, it is the same exact blade. I'll show that in a second. Um, but the, in addition, you're going to have to fill it up with gas every week. Um, you're going to want to use some sort of fuel stabilizer, uh, ethanol type treatment, or you're going to have some issues um, with it gumming up your carburetor. Um, here's the air filter, so your carbs back under there. Um, you'll want to change this air filter out and check out how dirty that one is. They definitely get dirty when you got a big yard with a lot of leaves. Um, the last time I used this mower was actually for leaf cleanup and you can see all the dust. Um, don't necessarily have to change out that air filter every time. I'm going to actually use uh, compressed air to clean it and see how it does, but that is one maintenance point that you'll have on the gas um, that you won't have on the electric. There is no air filter. Um, you've also got a spark plug. Let me show you that. Um, it's going to be up here on the front of your motor. Um, that's something you'll want to change out. Um, some people do it once a season. Um, you can kind of just pull it every season and take a look at it and see. For me, it's going to depend on how much I'm using this mower. It's not my main mower, so uh, most likely I won't have to change it out quite every season, but that is yet another uh, maintenance point on this gas motor. Um, that you're going to have to do. Put these mowers up on their uh, stove, stove feature and you can see what the decks look like on their side of them. Also this is going to prove um, that these mowers have definitely both been used. So if you want to get a good review on a mower, um, I would watch a review where the mower is kind of dirty and you can tell if someone's really put it through the test and use it a lot. So. Nothing against some of those unboxing reviews. Um, I've watched plenty of those before I've made a decision on buying stuff, but I'd rather see a mower that's been put through the paces. So hopefully you can see that right now. Um, once you flip these mowers uh, up, um, I'll grab the camera real quick. All right, so here's the underside of these mowers, and hopefully you can see that pretty good. I'll zoom in. Um, had to think really quickly which one is which. So the gas-powered one is over on the left, and the electric one is over on the right. You can tell I've been mowing more grass with the electric one. The gas one's been mulching up leaves. So um, one thing you can quickly note is these are the exact same personal pace model. They've got the same transmission. Um, you can see that down at the bottom. Same Toro transmission. It should be the same drive belt as well. Um, you've got the same uh, recycler blade. It attaches with the same exact size of nut, it looks like. We'll have to check that. That could be a little different. Um, you've got the same recycler system. Um, it does a little secondary kind of mulch and cut. Um, same steel deck. Everything's exactly the same under these mowers, so all the parts are interchangeable. So if you're a lawn care nut like me and you got both, it's pretty cool. You can swap blades and swap stuff out on these. All right, so I was getting ready to actually just take these blades off and sharpen them, so I've got a good comparison on how they mulch. And I'll have to do some research online, but one thing I'm not sure if you can see, um, this is the electric version. It has a W134649 stamp on it. It says 13 Atomic. And then here's the gas version. Um, it actually has a, I'm trying to twist this around so you can see it. It's a W1. Three three eight four zero stamp, and it says one three one dash four five four seven atomic blade. So, um, looks the same, um, but there could be a small difference in the blade on each of these units. Um, it does look like there is a slightly different size 
nut on each one. So I'm thinking that could be one minor difference. I don't know if it affects performance. Um, it very well could be the electric one possibly has a little bit lighter blade, um, if I was to guess. But um, I'll do some research and see, you know, what is the difference in those blades. It's one of the reasons why I initially bought this electric um, recycler versus the Ego mowers and some of the other ones that I had looked at is those had a composite uh, plastic style deck. I really, um, those are amazing mowers from what I've heard, but you know, when I saw this Toro, um, there wasn't near as many two years ago options. And you know, what really struck, um, stuck out to me and made my decision was I just wanted a real, I guess, solid steel deck. I wanted a good cut. Um, you know, my concerns were more quality of cut when I got this mower. I had a small yard, it was uh, fescue, very thick, and I really, really wanted a really good cut. And the recycler for years has been out and has been known um, for its quality of cut. So that was one of the features that was really the most important when I bought um, that electric one. So what ended up happening is you know, I really got into lawn care wanted to stripe my lawn so I ended up buying the Toro striping kit so um, here th this kind of gets to one difference um, you have to fill this thing up with sand and it's got a good bit of weight on it so what I actually found is if I wanted to make a couple of passes on my yard um, I had the striping kit installed on that electric mower first and I would start running out of charge faster um, that was because I was making two or three passes up on my front yard so I could get those really fat, you know, nice thick stripes and that fescue. And so actually I ended up buying the electric version or the gas version and I switched over and installed the stripe kit on that one. And, you know, that was my main reasoning for getting that gas mower is because I could just get the stripes down like I wanted them, mow two or three passes over that front yard and I didn't have to worry about the battery dying. Um, I suppose I could have bought an extra battery, um, but when pricing it out, um, I know the prices have gone up a bunch in the last few years. The um, price of that recycler was about three seventy nine, if you can believe that, when I bought it, um, versus I think a replacement battery for that one was somewhere in the three hundred dollar range. Um, don't quote me on that; I'm not sure exactly, but um, that was kind of the reasoning why I bought the clone of both mowers. And hey. Who couldn't use an extra mower if you're a lawn care nut, right? All right, here's the before mow. Um, fescue, probably gonna break the two-third rule for sure. I just fertilized this for the last time this spring. It's um, it's getting pretty, yeah, pretty tall. So we're gonna take a few inches off. I'm gonna mow it at about three and a quarter inches. And um, this backyard side yard is probably close to about 10,000 square feet total of grass. I'm going to mow it with the Toro Recycler. All right, good evening. So just sitting here in the office doing some editing on the video of the Toro 60 volt versus the gas recycler. And one thing I just found out is that, wow, um, got a lot of footage yesterday of those two mowers and I'm gonna break this up into a couple different parts so either two or three I'm gonna go ahead and end part one here uh, stay tuned for the next part I'll do the um, overview of some of the footage uh, mowing with the 60 volt and kind of give my thoughts and uh, comparison I'll also do the mow next week on the gas mower in the same exact areas that I mowed with the 60 volt so I hope you're enjoying this and uh, stay tuned for the next uh, part of this series Thanks for watching.